Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm gonna be showing y'all a little, you know, a little quick video on how you can take screenshots. We do have a lot of new factions and everything coming on YBN, so you feel me. Most of y'all, y'all see people going crazy with the little screenshots showing and role playing stuff. So this is pretty much how you do it. Um, this was a screenshot I just finished, and then if I go back real quick, you can see I just did this one too. Some look, you know, some light. The quality was way better than our actual thing and shit. But anyways. So pretty much to do this, um, you do need Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, um, I don't know any other methods. You have to go figure it out on your own, big fella. But um, the dimensions I use is 800 by 600. Background really doesn't matter because you're not going to have anything transparent or anything. And when you're in game, um, this is where most people have problems, like actually taking screenshots. Um, like I have Shadow Play. If you don't have Shadow Play, you can get Fraps. If you can't get Fraps somewhere, you could get uh bandy cam i know you could take screenshots with guyzo if you have to or print screen most of my stuff i take with print screen but um so you want to pretty much get your first screenshot um like say for example you are role playing breaking into a crib so then you will have like you take a screenshot when you at the front door of the crib or maybe take a screenshot of the whole house and then you feel me uh so i already have my shit laid out um so I took this one right here. This was like a nice little cinematic I had. And obviously you don't want to just post a screenshot with the hood and everything in it. And this. Somebody just followed me. But anyways. Um, so you feel me? So I right here. You know, I'm going to just try to get like a nice little crop right here. You want to choose the selection tool up here. The rectangular or whatever. Then get your selection and hit control plus C. Head back over to the document that you just made. Control V. And now uh, this is where you just do a little bit of resizing. So say if I wanted it like this. Personally, I don't want the border. I just want it like this. So boom. We got this. So now we have this nigga. All the hood cropped out. You feel me? It looks clean. Um, we have him on the phone, obviously. So you know that. Then you got a nice ass background in the back. You have this right here showing that like I'm, you feel me? I'm somewhere in, in a crib type shit. You feel me? So then, boom, you got that. So that's your basic product down right there. Basic screenshot. If you want to just upload it like this, you can. I mean, that's up to y'all. So I want to put role play on mine. So uh, I have... All right, I have this screenshot. So if you want to get your role play lines to, like, to come out like clean, like the actual blocks and stuff. Like right here, you can see I left the crib and I went outside so I could just have a sky. You pretty much want like a solid color, like something that doesn't have a lot of background behind it. Because sometimes it does mess this up. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Um, same with like Twitter. Twitter is a little bit transparent. So if you want to like copy Twitter, for example, like I did in one of these. I don't know. I'll find it. I'll show you later. Um, just find a clear little background. Take your picture of your slash me's. Um, you might have to take multiple screenshots. If it is a lot of role play that's going on, you can't always press T while you're in game and use the page up and page down feature and then just take your screenshots later on, like once the role play is over type shit. So we're going to do the same thing with this. Control plus C. Go back over here. Control plus V. So now we have this like this. And obviously you don't want to just, you feel me, just slap it on there and it's just looking, you feel me, looking a little nasty and shit. We want it to actually, you feel me, just be transparent. So, well, not really transparent, but I have a background. So, now you're going to press W and go to your magic wand tool. Um, these settings might be unchecked. I don't know. I personally don't uncheck them because then it takes the white out of the letters. So, make sure you do check these. I mean, don't uncheck them. Then, boom, click that. It's going to take a little bit of it off of there. You can lower your tolerance for that. But me personally, I'm not really tripping off of that because it's just a nice little fade. So you see, actually, hold on, I'm going to delete this part first. So this is why you have, like, a clear background so you don't got to worry about this. Like, it's like with this, it's only just this, so I can easily just delete that off the top. Take out my magic wand tool. Click on it, then click delete. And boom, just like that, we got this with no background. Um, it's probably hard to see. No background, it's just transparent by itself. So we're gonna bring this layer back up. And um for this one and for this example, I'm gonna just show you how I made the Twitter one. Uh let me show y'all the final product real quick of the last one. 
images. This is the final product, and I'm pretty much just showing you how to do this right now. So back to this. Um, I'm gonna put this one up here. Depending on how your screenshot is, you feel me? You could just do it however. Um, like if your your main, you feel me? Like the main thing that you have is on the right. Put it to the left. Basic dimensions and shit like that. So then, boom, we got this at the top. Speed this up a little quick, a little bit. Got this at the top. Now, um, for this one, I'm going to have, like, the little Twitter message in it. So, right here, you can see I tried to get the Twitter message with, like, the least background. I couldn't really, I really didn't go outside. I should have did it outside. But I had to lift my camera all the way up. So, fuck it. And then you just pretty much do the same thing. Like, if you want to do, like, a Twitter post or Instagram post. Or you could just go to the actual Twitter app and grab it from there, copy it, then paste it over, and boom. And then if I really wanted to, I'd just go in and clean up like all this little extra shit that makes it look a little nasty. I'm going to do this real quick. Might be a little sloppy, but you feel me? Just go in on this. This is my way of doing it. Other people have their methods. This is mine. Um... Delete that, delete that, delete that. So now we got some nice little clean, smooth edges. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. And I think I went in on this one. Delete that. And then boom, we got that. So now we just lay this down. Um, I'm going to resize this and move it over a little bit. And then probably take this over some more. If I want to be precise about it, I could just line it up like this. Using a little guide. Take that. Put that right there. So now those are perfectly aligned. And boom, just like that, you got you a nice little role play screenshot, bro. It's just that easy to, you know, edit um, role play screenshots for your faction or whatever. You can do this with guns and stuff. You just go in your inventory copy over it cut out the extra shit like holding all in rolling your mouse wheel and up is for in down is for out and then you feel me just go in and clean it up bro and just like that i just made this clean ass screenshot within what five minutes if you need help let me know in the comment section you can hit me up on discord y'all know i'm in there tester uh bishop combos you can see me under the little tester tab on the lost scandalous discord if you need help or you could just at me in there or whatever. And I, if I get around to it, if I'm not busy with faction shit, I will message you back. And that's pretty much it, bro. That's how to edit screenshots on uh, LS. You feel me? It's been your boy Bishop, bro. I'm up out of here, man. Peace.